Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale Blind. The last episode, we beat the game, we uh, defeated Flowey, we uh, got the neutral ending of the game, but of course we want to go for the pacifist ending, I didn't spare everyone just to, you know, get some silly neutral ending, no. So, uh, you cannot get the pacifist ending on the first run, however, what you can do is, uh, now, I, now that I've beaten the game once, I can now go talk to Dr. Alphys, and theoretically that should unlock the true pacifist run ending sort of thing. Also, out of curiosity, is there anything down here? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack. If anything interesting happens on the way back, I will, of course, show it off. Okay, this is still... I don't know if this room has any significance ever later on. I know there's the room to the left of Snowden. I do want to check that out at some point this episode. However, I hear that you can't do anything of that in the first run of a game. So this game still has a ton of mysteries to explore. and We still have the entire genocide run, so I don't think this is anywhere remotely near over yet. But, uh... But, yeah. Or at least, today we're going to do Dr. Alphys. So I'm going to see what other Easter eggs I can find. If you guys know of any Easter eggs, after I complete the true pacifist run, I'm probably going to start reading comments, because I haven't really been reading comments, because, you know, spoilers. Um, so I guess the comments in this video, if there's anything else that you want to see that isn't shown off in this episode, uh, let me know, and I'll probably make an episode in between doing the pacifist ending and the genocide run that has some extra stuff that I missed. That's the gameplay. I mean, is there any, I don't know, I don't suppose there'd be, like, anything over in, like, this area. I don't know. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna explore, and if I find anything interesting, I'm going to let you guys know. Otherwise, Dr. Alfie is coming to you quite soon. Whoa! Okay, you can still end up in combat in this area. I, I guess I'm slightly surprised, because usually after you spare people, you don't get combat, but I guess that's a thing. Can I run? Apparently, woof? That's just weird. Okay, well, I'm just gonna fight these guys, but A, really hard to run away if these guys. B, you can still fight after you beat the game, so be careful about that. I guess if you want to level or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, phone call? What? Hey, uh, how's it going? Uh, okay. Okay, sure. Is this about, is this the Undying thing, maybe? Or no, the, 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 the Alphys thing, maybe? Okay, so she said snow in front of papyruses. Cool. I... I can't say I was expecting that to happen. I'm a little confused and concerned, and, uh, yeah, there's more than meets the eye of this episode, it seems. Have I not been back here? I could have sworn I've been back here since the end game, but maybe. But this is, does this elevator work yet? By the way, no. Interesting. I'm I'm still very much like, huh? Th there's there's more things to do here than I thought. I guess so. I guess we'll go talk to Undying first. I'm just making sure there's nothing interesting here. Okay. Sure. Why not? I that 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 happened. Actually, well, on the way there, we're gonna still see, uh, we're still gonna pass by Alphys's, Alpha, yeah, Alphys, how do you, like, how do you possessive that? Alphys lab? I guess, I guess it would still just pronounce the same. Hey, Mr. Guy, your mouth is open! I still love that there's this whole system of the ice, the ice cream here of the punch card, and then you get to a, a, him later on, he's just like, well, sorry, sold out of all my ice cream, so your punch card's useless. It's, this game just, like, it has all the cliches, and then it subverts all the cliches, and that's why it's fantastic. I guess I'm just gonna keep talking here because we're already at Alphys' lab, so I guess technically things are gonna happen in like two seconds anyway. But yeah, there was a phone call, so we're gonna have to check that out this episode too. Unless, you know, the the lab, this maybe that has something to do with the lab thing, because maybe this, okay, yeah, there's still no response here. So that's my best hint then for the lab, is to head down here back to Snowden Town and go from there. So... At this point, may as well keep talking, because uh, it's not really going to be that long of a cut anyway. And plus, it's the dog boat. We love the dog boat. Maybe this person will say something mysterious. Exactly. See, wasn't that worth it? I personally think this that was worth it. Ah, oh, I am. I'm still like very. A. I'm still very blown away by the end of this game. B. Like, from all what I hear, the pacifist ending's like 50 million times better still. So, 
Like, I am so extremely hype, I have no idea what to expect. But Undyne! What's up? Oh no! I have not met any of her expectations. Anyway, uh, but, 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 bicycle. Okay. Give me my thing! Give me the thing! Okay. So. Are you gonna give this to, to, is this to, to Alphys? Yes! We can do stuff with Dr. Alphys. Whoa, that's a strange face. Have we seen her do that face before? Because that's a weird face. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, you almost died. If I didn't give you a glass of water, you would have died. So you know what, I can't blame you for going over there. So, yeah, she, uh, she is not a big fan. I believe you. Uh, she's not a big fan of the heat. I can, it makes sense, it's... <laughs> Okay! Okay. Ah, so that's why she needed me, because she always tries to like, rethink her words, because I have no standards, and that's unfortunately true. Because you have no standards! Yay. Alright, well, since I sped through that, what are you waiting for? The sooner you get over with the better, just for people who don't read the speed of light like I do. I don't suppose, like, Sands is still in here, and I can just be like, Sands! Just because I've always been curious about this door, it looks like there's, like, a disco rave going back here, and it's crazy talk! Okay, I actually want to go explore that door to the left of Stoden quickly, just for curiosity's sake. So I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna go to Dr. Alphys. So if nothing's over to this door to the left, I will meet you guys at Alphys' lab again, because I'm assuming that's where we have to go for this. Otherwise, I have no idea where to go, but that's okay. I'm going to wander around the hot lens this episode anyway, so whatever. Mysterious door is still mysterious. New story at 11. You know, actually, this makes a lot of sense now to think about how this would work, because if you think about it, we, we became friends with Papyrus, then Papyrus is the one who helped us become friends with Undyne. So if Papyrus is, like, dead or we weren't friends with Papyrus, we could have become friends with... What did she, she... Did she just say that she likes to eat spiders? Also, I guess I'm assuming the boat person's a she. Why not? I've, I've gotten everyone else's gender wrong, so may as well get that one's gender wrong as well. I'm sure someone knows something about this mysterious person. It's gonna be like, Lucky! That person doesn't have a gender, it's a robot! And I'll be just like, what? Robots have genders, what are you talking about? Anyway, um, so, but yeah, uh, so you need a papyrus to get Undyne, so it makes sense they need Undyne to get Alphys then. So, this all makes sense now. Well, I, no! Also, wait, what happens if, when I, if I touch the letter? What happens if I'm like, use letter? Okay, fine! Jeez, game! Can't let me just peek at the thing! Fine! Fine! You be that way. Alphys, we got some mail! I hear your signature sound under there! Nope! Just, just open it! It's from Undo- Yeah! Yay! Good, because otherwise we wouldn't have a- Well, that's Undyne's fault. She's a bit extreme. You know how it goes. Uh, um, excuse me? Oh! Hey, remember me? You locked me out? You are really upset at me? Can we be friends now? Oh my god! Uh... I, I mean... It's... It, what did it say? Should I say yes? Should I say no? Can we watch some anime? I came here to watch some anime. Um, is this like a love letter to Alphys? Cause, or is it just like, be friends? Is this Undyne trying to make sure me and Alphys are friends? Cause I appreciate that. No, you did, well, I mean, you did have a robot who tried to murder me, but still. I still forgive you. I forgive you for everything, except for all the tweeting you did, because that was annoying. But otherwise I forgive you. Okay. That's what I thought. Dang it, Undyne! Why did- unless Undyne wants to date Alphys, is there some sort of, like, hint there instead, or is this her trying to set me up? Whoa! 
Okay! Dating round two! That's okay! I have experience with this! I'm very good at this! Oh, 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 oh! That's an image that I needed to see in my life, apparently. I mean, I mean, or I mean, sorry, Alfies, that looks great on you! I'm a gentleman and a scholar! So, I mean, that looks, that looks wonder- it's just really weird to see, like, a dinosaur-looking thing in a dress, okay? This has nothing to do with anything else other than, like, that, and, and she kind of, like, has, like, the same hair. God damn it! Let me talk at least before you do things! Dating- stop? This is a- this is a date- this has become a dating sim, except I'm on the other end of it. Okay! That's... that's... Dating sims are not how dating in real life works, Elfies. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. What, what, uh, what? Uh, this is, this is... Were you trying to date Undyne? Because that makes sense. Okay. Exactly! Yeah, she totally wanted to- she totally wants to get with Undyne. And Undyne wants to get with her. Are we gonna, like, be matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match? Make Undyne and Alfie's fall in love with each other? Because these very seem very specific. Yeah, these seem very specific towards a certain someone here. Interesting, interesting. I don't even care about anything that happened before. I, I'm more like, ooh, it's time to make some matches! Anyway. Dating start! Let's 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 do it, even though you clearly like someone else who may be a fish person. This this is this is very exciting. This is the most exciting <laughs> Undyne seems to out God, I'm confusing everyone's names today. What is wrong with me? Yeah! Which one do you watch? Does it involve magical girls? Probably will, because cliche. Alright! Where is a good place to go? How about that, like, hotel restaurant place? That place is pretty cool, right? Or the dump behind it! That's fun, too! Yay! Garbage! You two seem pretty close! You should date! <laughs> I'm very bad at being a matchmaker, okay? Uh... She, I'm very, this is a very, whoa, the music. Dun, dun, dun! Cause then she'd be like, oh no! What, why, why am I a mute protagonist? Why can't I just be like, that was from Undyne, go, be merry. This is super, I, I know like this is gonna end in such an intriguing way too, so I'm super excited. Uh. Uh, well, that's an outfit for you, Undyne. You look very angry right now, and th that outfit suits you. I like it. I like it. I like it. Well, a bit too late because you Oh, and that's why Papyrus said that she always wants to rewrite her words because she's trying to, like, it's supposed to be like a love confession to Alfie's. But she keeps getting, she keeps chickening out and getting cold feet about it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Well, I already delivered it, Alphys already has it, and Alphys is trying to date me now, even though she wants to date you. You should just date! Make it simple! Why is this so complicated? Yeah, I've seen her. She's doing well. Yep, you should go snog. That's, that's what monsters do, right? Uh, yeah! And she likes you too! She just gave you a love letter! Except you think it's from me! God, this is complicated! <laughs> Welcome to Lucky70X as a frustrated matchmaker. The video. No, I don't need to feel better. I'd feel better if you are happy. That's more important to me right now. No, it's fine! Exactly! Go! The letter was from her! You silly face! That's not even true! 
Silent protagonist, do something! And that means nothing. Love can still happen. You are not, you are like super awesome robot genius person. That's freaking awesome. That's not true. You helped me a lot before you tried to murder me with a robot. Everyone thinks they're cooler than they actually am. That's because, or everyone thinks they're not as cool as they actually are. That's because people are cooler than they think. You out there in the audience, you're very cool. Even if you don't think you're cool, you're very cool. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Moral lessons of the day, yo. You should tell her the truth. No, she won't. Nope. No, because sometimes you can live a truth where both people are happy. How do you, you just, th yes. Oh, I sympathize with you so much right now. It's not even funny, but it's okay. It always gets better. I hear the alarm going off my phone. Hang on, that's gonna get really loud in a second. One second. Welcome to Lucky 7DX. Wakes up earlier than his alarm, and then his alarm proceeds to interrupt his recording. Oops. Anyway, let's get back to the groove here. You gotta tell the truth. You can't live a lie forever. The more you lie to yourself, the worse things will always get. You can you cannot live life in fear. You have to live life to the maximum. Challenge some like. Hitman Reborn up in here right now. Okay, you walk up to her, you be like, yo, we got a date. <laughs> Don't ever do that, ever. Ever, ever. Okay, practice on me. Obviously, let's roleplay. <laughs> I have to choose that option. That does sound very fun. Okay. I'll, no, I'll be undying. I want to be undying. I want to be crazy, spear-throwing, awesome person. I'm sorry. It's my, it's necessary. <laughs> You're cute. I'm fine. We're gonna be realistic here. We're gonna play the realisticness here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, we have to. We have to stay normal. Hold it together, protagonist. Hold it together. Okay. Okay. Undyne's totally gonna hear this part of it and it's gonna be really awkward. That's gonna totally happen. Anyway. Dang it! Alarm! Stop it! My phone is off! Nothing will ruin this moment now! I mean, what? Hi! Uh, anyway, talking to Nerd Nerdy so <laughs> this episode's a train wreck! Uh, okay. So. Oh, this is like really sweet. Yeah! Uh, okay? Are you about to ex- Whoa! Whoa? Whoa! We're getting a little extreme here! This is getting a little- a little too far! Little- Little too far! A little too far! This is awkward! Uh... Hey! <laughs> this is a funny image going on here! Ow, just bag my head against the desk. Like I couldn't train wreck this episode anymore. Aww. It's because you two are about to hook up. No, 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 it's not me. I'm just the matchmaker. I'm the matchmaker. No, I'm the matchmaker. No, uh, Alfie's. That's even weirder! Th that's... wow. This got pretty much the strangest it could ever be. Just, 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 just say it. Just say it, Alphys. That face on Undying right now is really weird. <laughs> this is totally not what I expected to come out of this, by the way. Oh, okay. But that's okay, giant swords are still real. Uh, 
Oh, but Nerdy is cool. Oh, she's like petting her head. That's kind of weird. What matters is the person, not all the little fluffy things. Exactly! Whoa! Yeah! Exactly! That's what matters. Exactly! Passion is what matters. Passion's such an important thing in life. Follow your dreams and passions, guys. It'll always lead you in good places, hopefully, unless they're really... Really? Unless you're like, my passion is to murder people! Don't do that then. Anyway. 100% at maximum power! She does the maximum thing too! Yes! Exactly! No more lying. Oh, This is making me have the feels. Oh boy. This might be a little scary though. That's... That's... That's a thing, okay. Oh, good lord, no! Oh, good lord, no! 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 Dang you, game! Alright, sounds like a good time! Okay. That happened. Whoa! That's really fast bitch music. Yep, they're totally real, the giant swords. Yep, anime is totally real! Oh god, do I really have to make this choice? Oh no, what do I do here? Ah! No! Um, um, do I say the truth or do They're never gonna make it to the human world anyway, they don't have to know! <laughs> I don't want to break her heart. That's too far. There's too much- Sometimes there are truths that must not be told! Anime being real is one of them. Or anime not being real. Shh. Yeah, and you know what? In the end, that's what matters, and you two will hook up eventually, because I believe in the power of love! Just seriously, go confess to each other. It's all good. Whoa. Oh, so the garbage dump is here in a waterfall. This little patch of flowers, I guess. Oh, yeah, because this is a garbage dump. Huh. Well, didn't expect we'd just randomly end up over here, but I guess that's what happened. Kinda cool. Um, so yeah, that took longer than I thought. So, whoa, we still got a phone call. Hey, Papyrus, yeah. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. What? You're very being very suspicious here. What is going on here, Papyrus? Um. Okay. So, yeah. I think I might just leave that on a cliffhanger there, because I'm looking at my episode. It's already, like, really going to be long. I don't know how long that's gonna take. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. So cliffhanger, whoa. In the next episode, this took longer than one episode. I thought this was gonna be just a one episode thing, but I guess not. Because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to that thing of Paris, then I'm gonna look around the hotlands to make sure there's no Easter eggs and whatnot, and then, then we'll get to the pacifist ending soon enough. So, 
This is taking more than I thought! Yay! More footage to record! I'm always- I'm happy. I don't want this game to end. I'm loving this game so much. What was that scene? Oh, just... Anime is real, guys. That's the moral of the story. Anime is real! This is Lucky70X signing out. See you all in the next one. Bye-bye.